Hey, let's talk about drugs, specifically medications for Parkinson's disease. The old standard since the 60s, carbolevidopa. Since dopamine doesn't really cross the blood-brain barrier, we're going to talk about the levodopa portion. That needs to cross our blood-brain barrier to offer us movement and mood regulation. All the basic functions for being a human and having relationships and making healthy choices and having boundaries and being able to communicate and basic function. This needs to happen. But after several years with Parkinson's, the efficacy of these medications changes, whether you start taking it right away or not, it seems. It fails to work. We run out of choices, and until the subcutaneous duopa delivery system is approved by the FDA, I don't have any choices anymore, and time feels like it's running out. So of course I'm desperate to find dopamine. Of course I'm on the hunt. That's a healthy response to a system going in withdrawal from a chemical that is absolutely essential for function. Without this, I can't move. Think of a stone, the tin man, oil can. Please find the oil can. If you work with, around, or love, or care for someone with Parkinson's, Please keep this in mind. And if you have been diagnosed with Parkinson's, it is up to you to communicate this with your loved ones. Because if you think it's confusing to have this, to have this situation, imagine experiencing it vicariously or witnessing it. It must look insane. It must look like something that the armchair psychologists and psychiatrists of the world might call bipolar or borderline or whatever they like to say now. We're always pointing fingers and making some pathology up. (laughs) These are all just stories of ignorance and lack of information. Another form of ignorance is to point at someone and to call them drunk or high or on illegal drugs of some sort, party drugs, and to presume things about people's behavior. This happens all the time, especially if I'm out enjoying some music or if I look like I have a drink in my hand or whatever it is. People will immediately just presume. And why not? It's the easiest guess. It's like the Occam's razor, only it's not correct. It's not right. It's not the most likely. Not for someone with a neurological condition. So it's up to us to communicate that to the people around us. And as you move through your day, hopefully you stay moving. Keep this in mind. As you communicate, soften a bit. This is not an excuse to act out or to hunt in a way that is compulsive and impulsive, such as the agonists present. This is not an excuse at all. In fact, it's a call to change the language to something a little more apt, to something a little more fitting. Instead of off times, we should just call this withdrawal, because that's what it is. We're in full-on withdrawal from a very powerful and necessary component of our chemistry that keeps us functioning. Thank you.